Daniel Richter is a contemporary painter from Berlin, Germany. Um, and most of his work is really contemporary. It's inspired by things that happen in everyday life from, you know, news photography gets his inspiration from all kinds. Of the, you'll see behind me there's some sketches of his work that were used to inspire some of his larger format paintings. Um, and he just definitely has a very unique perspective on things. Um, he does abstract, he did abstract work. There are a lot of figurative works in this exhibition, all just really packed with color and, and a whole lot of energy. And some of the subject matter, I mean, you were, you were telling me he takes from photographs or mm -hmm. news photographs. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, what, what are some of those examples in this, this particular show? Um, there's a couple of them. One of them is called DP2. It's after one of his first pieces called Dog Planet. And you see people in riot gear. You see German shepherd dogs. Uh, it sort of evokes that feeling of, you know, some sort of riot police getting ready for, you know, a confrontation with, you know, protesters. Um, so it definitely evokes that kind of sense of drama and panic. How has this exhibit been received uh, in the in the museum? What what are people's comments, uh, if if anything? Most of the time, people are really surprised. They didn't expect to see something like this. They didn't expect to see such a bright, energetic, large paintings. Um, a lot of times, people come to the art museum and they think they're going to see an impressionist work or, you know, an Elizabethan portrait. And um, really, what this is is a lot more contemporary. Tell us about Richter himself. I mean, what. Uh what is his place uh, in the in the art world right now? I mean, what does he what does he do? What is he known for? Where has he been? Where is he going? Um, he is really well known. He's uh, I, although he's he's considered young. He's he's definitely um, an up and coming artist in the global scene. He got to start actually designing punk album covers uh, in the seventies and then the eighties, and branched out into painting. Actually studied under some very famous German artists, and I think you know from what you can see here, I think he's really gaining a footing in the United States. The Denver Art Museum is hosting his first art museum show in in the country, um, and so we really hope that people will come and, and experience this. If people are kind of on the fence about this kind of a thing, what you know, why why should somebody come and see this? Why should somebody uh, take the time to uh, to thrust themselves into this this world? Um, well, I think it's a really interesting question. I think when people come to see, you know, they watch things on the news every night and they'll see a, a riot that happened in some far flung place. And really, you can take a look at this and, and maybe get a sense for what it might have felt like to have been there. Um, it's not realistic, but it does bring up real feelings that you might have if you were in that, that situation. There's a lot of darkness and kind of almost uh, this foreboding sense of uh, something really bad is either happening somewhere else or about to happen here. Or it definitely has some dark themes. There's themes of isolation. There's themes of, of crowds. Um, other themes that people will see are, you know, sort of an exploration of what it means to be under surveillance all the time. You see sort of these infrared, almost see-through people. And, you know, you know, are those cameras seeing through you or aren't they? It's just something that's interesting to explore in this day and time.